Welcome back. TV dinners have been around for decades, but today they don't just claim to be quick and convenient. Many market themselves as healthy choices, perfect for dieters. But do they really stack up? Rodney Lowe's has been looking at the TV dinners that are winners and the ones that don't rate. Tonight's forecast, a freeze is coming. Yes, giblet gravy and sliced turkey. It tastes like the bottom of an old shoe. It's <laughs> like chewy. It's the first and only three-course frozen dinner. I would never serve this to anybody. It's about 85 cents, and it's a Swanson fried chicken dinner. The TV dinner, invented in the 1950s due to an oversupply of turkey in the United States after a lean Thanksgiving. They've since taken over the world and taken off in Australia. Yes, Dad. Of course I'm looking after myself. Originally, an easy reheat in the oven has turned into a quick nuke in the microwave. And there's no shortage of choice from recognised brands to generic supermarket labels. But which are the best? We were trying to find out about uh, price, about taste and texture, um, about how the picture on the front of the box compared to what was actually inside. CanStar Blue's Rebecca Logan has just completed a customer satisfaction survey on some of the leading frozen meals. We too conducted a taste test survey and had nutritionist Aloysa Hurrigan from Nutrition Australia pick apart these heat and serve meals. First up, CanStar Blue. The brands that we have results for are Bird's Eye, Heinz, uh, McCain Healthy Choice, Weight Watchers and Lean Cuisine. Heinz topped the survey on price, Weight Watchers for nutritional value and for taste, Bird's Eye. I think it's interesting that Bird's Eye have come out on top uh, because they don't do full meals in their frozen food um, line, they do sections of meals which it looks like people are putting together to make full meals. Probably a healthier option where you can get a better proportion of vegetables is to actually choose one of those items, um, like a fish fillet or a, um, maybe a chicken breast that might be crumbed, um, but it's, you know, there are some versions that have the heart foundation tick, and just get some frozen veg and then you've still got a quick meal, um, but you're not getting all the other additives. Aloysius says for the rest, in most cases, there just wasn't enough vegetables in most of the complete meals. But there was one winning one, probably in terms of the amount of vegetables, and that would have to be the beef florentine, which actually has about 72% vegetables, and that includes the potato plus the vegetables. Her advice, the heart foundation tick, is a good starting point. I think certainly you've got to be careful when you start looking at some of the products like the normal lasagnas that aren't, um, you know, the healthy choice options. They can get very high in fats, you know, and, uh, and salt, and that th those levels were well above sort of recommended levels. And don't assume just because something looks like meat, it is. Sometimes the meat is made up, you know, with food technology expertise, with uh, both soy protein and the meat, and a few other gums and other additives to kind of make it a form product. Um, so they don't always have as much meat in them as you expect if you cooked at home yourself. Really? So take, for example, a slice of roast beef. It might look like a slice of roast beef, but it's not. It's reconstituted beef. Well, that's right, and it's got other components in there, and it still provides protein because it's contains soy protein as well as the meat protein. So you're still getting protein, but you're also getting a lot of other additives, and you're probably not getting the good dose of iron and zinc that foods like meat might contribute. Meanwhile, our taste testers were a lot fussier. All you can taste is the gravy in that. Yeah. Like, there's no flavour, no vegetable, no potato. Ooh, there's chicken in here? Well, I think so. Oh, I think OK. It's oh. This one at least doesn't look like plastic food. And I'm not a lover of kitchens. But I don't think my husband would like me to, to serve that up every night. Across the board, all turned their nose up at the complete meals, preferring the bird's eye option and adding their own vegetables. But if they had to choose a complete TV dinner, the winner, Aldi, was the preferred choice. I think the meat in that one's actually probably one of the best ones I've tasted. 